Activity 7, Google Automated Certificate. Group Task. Number 1, create an evaluation form for training. Number 2, add your group as collaborator for this form. Number 3, set to collect email automatically, restrict to DevEd, then limit to one response only. Number 4, create a confirmation message, thank you for joining our training. Number 5, create an open and open the form spreadsheet. Number six, click add-ons, then search autocrat. Number seven, create a slide certificate of recognition template for the participants. And number eight, automate certificate using autocrat. Okay, so let's do the form. So example, this is the form that I created. Okay, so you need to have a collaboration on this. Okay. So, so this is the form, evaluation form, okay, and then add your, add your group as collaborator for this form. So what you're going to do is to click the three dots, okay, and then add collaborators. Okay, so click add collaborators and then type the email address example i'm going to use my account okay, and then click send so this account will become editor of this form share anyway and then let's go back to the task set to collect email automatically restrict to depth ed then limit the one response only okay so you need to go to the Settings, okay, then click settings, so automatically click this box, collect emails, okay, you may choose response receipts or if responsive, but according to the task, we don't need to check that, okay, and then restrict to the add. And limit the one response. Okay, then let's go back to the presentation. Create a confirmation message. Thank you for joining our training. Okay, go to the presentation and look for confirmation message. Thank you for joining our training. Okay, and the next, create and open the form spreadsheet. Okay, and then click save. Save this one. Okay, and the responses, you will see the spreadsheet, so just click the green, plus, then after that, so I have here now the spreadsheet, and then click add-ons, then search auto add-ons, we click add-ons, click add-ons, Okay, and then get add-ons. Okay, add-ons, and then get add-ons. Then, we need to search autocrat. Autocrat. Okay, and then click enter. So, this is the autocrat. Okay. So, autocrat. Okay, so it's already installed on my computer. So all you need to do is to follow the direction in installing. So you need to install it as plugin. Okay. So since it is already installed, okay, I'm going to proceed to the next task. Create a certificate of recognition template for the participants. Okay, so slide. Okay, so I have here a sample of Certificate of Recognition okay, in Google Slide. Okay, so all you need to do is to create this one template. Okay, and then you need to write the content already and then the person in charge for the signature. Okay, you may also add QR code if you want. 
in the code memo. And then after that, so you, you need to type and create a text box and then you type this symbol less than, to less than, and then name, the name, and then to greater than. Okay, so this will be the reference of the name. Okay, so you may also add the position or the designation under this. Okay, it's up to you on how you're going to design the certificate of recognition. Okay, so already created number seven. Let's go now to number eight. Automate certificate using Autocrat. Okay, so how to automate this one? What you're going to do is to go to the spreadsheet and then you click add ons and then click autocrat then click launch or open okay, launch or open okay so for you to see it clearly okay. so click new job And then new job. Okay, there's the name of the job. Example, this is for Google. Okay, you may type the name of the job that you're going to create. And then click next. And then choose the template or locate the template that you created. Okay, so from the drive. From drive. Okay, my search certificate of record. So this is the name of my certificate, certificate of record. Okay, and then search. Okay, so here is the certificate recognition or the record. And then click select. Okay, let's wait to upload. So here is the, the, the template. Next is click next. So we have here name. So yeah, the word name is identified on the certificate. Okay, this tag. Okay. And then you can also check on the arrow. Okay. Yeah, okay, so just follow. Identify the name. Then click next, file name, you can create this hashtag, again, less than, less than, then name, then greater than, greater than. Okay, it says here that, tell Autocrat how to name each file it creates, you can use Tags and then let's create a PDF format. Okay, and no need to change this. Then click next. Okay, so that will be the folder that I created. So all the certificates will be included here on this folder that I created. Automated certificate. Okay, you can choose where to load that you can choose a folder then click next next and then next then share docs yes let's do the emailing so to less than less than then what did we do email address the email address this one email address email address then greater than greater than so that will be our reference okay next is subject subject is certificate of record then you can use a message, you can 
send a message. Thank you. Less than less than name. Greater than greater than for your participation. Period. And then click next. Then you click yes. Run on from trigger. Click yes. Then click yes. Okay, so it's updating. Then click save. Okay, you have unmapped tags. Let's check. It's the error. Okay, it's the error. What is the error? Okay, so sometimes you will encounter this kind of error. So let's check. Uh -huh. Okay, first name. So you may change that. It's not working, so you may change this name. And then remove the last name. Okay, so that it will sync to the form. Okay. Save. Check again. Okay, if it is not working, okay, we cancel it so that it will refresh. And then you repeat the process. So always check your form when creating this kind of automated certificate. Okay, okay, let's check, let's check. So this is the survey. Okay. Again, let's open. Then add-ons. Okay, we have here the name. So oh, maybe we can remove this one, the last name. Okay, so that's the reason why you need to double check for sure. Form in creating this one. Okay, so we have a last name. So never mind about the last name. We remove that one. Okay, then. Let's do it again. Add-ons, autocrat. Okay, open. Then repeat the process. If you have an error, then hit upload new job. Okay. So this is Google. Next, get the certificate, use, use the certificate, then click next. Okay, so we have here the name, yeah, it's correct already. Okay, it's already identified, recognized. Next, and then the file name, less than less than name, greater than, greater than. Then click as PDF. Then next, choose destination folder. So let's choose the folder for this one. This is automated certificate. Automated. Okay, this one. Okay, and then. Oops. Again, let's, try, let's do it again. Automated certificate. All right. Okay. Let's search the other one. So this one. Let's go back. Okay. So this is 2021. 2021. 2021. Let's do it again. Okay, training activities. Okay, then select. Then click next. Next. And then next. Then share docs. Yes. Then again, uh, let's check the email. Email address. This one. Email address. You need to 
have a complete text email address and then check your spelling okay it should be like this and then certificate of record recognition then let's have a message thank you thank you and then the name for joining our training and click next then run on from trigger then click save okay let's try this one let's check for example i'm going to answer this one so that's my email. And this will be my name. Gonzalez and then the pet. I assume I'm going to answer this one. Okay. okay let's try this. Alright. Okay. Okay, let's fill this up. Do you apply? Yes. Then yes. And then thank you. Thank you. Then click submit. Okay, so let's see our email. Okay. And Check if the if you receive a certificate from that email. Okay, so maybe I can change. I, I want to change the email address because I already use it. Okay, let's try again. Switch. Let's switch. Okay. Maybe we can try this one. Let's change to this one. And let's try this one to answer this one. Okay. Let's remove the response. Okay, so I already ending form. Let's wait. Okay, maybe I can remove that one. Delete all responses. Okay. And then let's try this one. Okay, let's change the email. Switch around to other email so that I can receive this from the organization. Okay, so maybe we can change the restriction so that I can show you the example. Change the restriction on this one. Then let's say this for us to try this one. View. Okay, let's switch the account from my personal account. Okay, and then let's answer. Okay. Email address. Show in. At gmail.com. Then name showing one to another. Okay, and then the department of education. Okay, this past track, this one. Past track. Okay. Five, five, five. Okay. So you will see the difference and the error. Okay. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Then click submit. 
Okay, the, let's open our personal Gmail account. Okay, to see if the certificate is sent to my email. Can we refresh? Let's refresh, refresh. See, should be the fresh waiting. Okay, so feedback is one. So let's check our certificate. Okay, certificate. Let's see, can you find the certificate? So it is shared to my app. Okay, so this is our certificate of recognition. It's automatic. Once the form is uh is already filled up, something to say the certificate will automatically send to your email. So you need to check check the size, font size, okay, from the certificate. So if it's too large, may reduce the size. It until you get the exact certificate. Okay, so that's it. So that is how to automate a certificate of recognition in Google.